What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So we have to use tiles to model each of these algebraic expressions over here. And notice that I made something we could reference here for the algebraic tiles. In the previous video, we went through an overview of how algebraic tiles work. And so I just summarized all of those different tiles over here. So just as a quick review, if you have a small filled in square, that represents the number plus one. If you have a small hollow square, it's minus one. A rectangle that's filled in, that represents positive x. A hollow rectangle, it's minus x. And then a large, filled in square is plus x squared, and then a large hollow square is minus x squared. So we have to apply those over here. So notice in number one, we have 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. So notice that we're going to have 2x squares, and it's positive. So we would have two of these. So what we would do is we would draw two large squares like that. If this was minus 2x squared, then we would draw two hollow squares, but it's positive 2x squared. And then we have plus 4x, so positive 4x, so that means that there are four of these rectangles over here. So we would draw these, so we'll have one, two, three, and then four, and because it's positive, these have to be filled in like that. And then we have minus three. So that's a number. So notice that there's going to be three of these hollow small squares. So we would have one, two, three, like that, right? Positive two X squared plus four X minus three right there. Okay, so this algebraic expression modeled with tiles looks like that. Let's go to the next one. So number two, we have minus x squared plus x. So there's like a minus one in front and a plus one in front. So minus x squared, that's the same as this. So we have one large hollow square, and then we have plus x, plus one x, which would be one of these rectangles. And because it's positive, it would be filled in like that, right? So this algebraic expression is modeled like that. Then we have positive five. So that would be basically five of these small squares over here. So one, two, three, four, five. And because it's positive five, all of these here are filled. And if it was minus five, then they would be hollow. And then we have minus three X squared minus X minus two. So notice, negatives all across the board. So we know that all of the shapes, they're all going to be hollow. So notice we have minus three X squared. So there are three of these hollow large squares. So we'll have one, two, this kind of looks like a rectangle actually. So just got to be careful with the drawings here right? Three of these minus three X squared minus X. So it's like a minus one X. So there's only one of these over here. So that would be like that. And then we have minus two. So there would be two of the small squares like that. Okay. So this portion over here is the minus three X squared. This rectangle over here represents the minus one X or the minus X. And then these small squares here represent the minus two, right? So you pretty much just want to look at each term separately and then match them up accordingly to these different tiles.